Good evening, everyone. This is Tina. How are you doing today? In this video, we are gonna talk about template engines. First, we have to understand why do we need a template engines. Okay, then we can give a definition. What is template engine? So. Let's give a very uh, concrete example. You must see this thing here. This is after we log in here, we have a home page. On the home page, here we are display your <coughs> profile information like this here is your name, okay? And here have log out. So Suppose we want to represent this home page like using home.xml or uh, HTML like we did before, uh, you know, which is yesterday, right? Probably in the uh, HTML, we write a code like this HTML and HTML. And then we have a head and I have a head and we have body. Uh, we have a body. So everything you see in the browser gonna be in the body. So here, what you can do is have H1, which has a Tina displayed, okay? But is it a good way? Is it possible to do like this way with HTML? It's impossible because this value here is changeable. Suppose you log in with uh, Josh, then here has to be Josh. Suppose you log in with Edward, here has to be Edward. But with HTML, this value has to be hard-coded. It cannot be dynamic, right? So if for I have 1,000 user, that means when we're using HTML, this, I have to have 1,000 HTML and only the name here is changeable for different user. This is, uh, I think you obvious know this is not a very not a good right not a, this is really really bad to do to design or to develop a website like this okay really uh, like uh, violet lots of stuff like uh, repeat yourself because uh, all other suppose all other piece of content is same okay so we need some we need something which can make this part is uh, changeable okay and uh, it also can display the HTML like we need before so this result the use of using template engines template engines you can think like uh, uh, libraries which allows you to use different template language <clears throat> what are different language in <coughs> node it has uh, lots okay or, or in uh, oh, sorry not a node in express you can using park okay if you're using express generator by default you're gonna using park previously called the jet and uh, we can also using handler bars the easiest one is uh, EJS okay so we are gonna using EJS as example uh, template language is a way is a kind of like a special set of uh, collections which allows you to process the data so let's give an example of uh, uh, what template engine does okay suppose now in our code okay we are not using HTML. We are using something called index.ejs, okay? And in the index.ejs, it contains two parts of information. The first part is a static. HTML is a static content, static resource, okay? Okay, this is our EJS file for any template 
for uh, for this EJS file, it will it can use to contain two kinds of information inside. One is whatever you wrote in HTML before, you can put in this EJS, okay, which is uh, you can consider as one template language, okay. And uh, suppose here is a welcome which is a hard-coded value, but for the name after welcome should be dynamic, right? So we will do something which is dynamic, which is name. Okay, so this part is dynamic. And this is kind of like a syntax, okay, used for dynamic content. Okay, so this is our EJS, what we're gonna re render, and uh, this kind of file we can call HTML leash uh, template because it looks like very like HTML. But the problem now is when I directly like uh, give all the content of this EJS in the browser, okay, in the Chrome, we are here display Tina for us. We are, we are, we are to know. Will it display Tina for us? No, because in the browser, Chrome, it just display whatever the HTML, whatever in the source code. So here, if I directly open this file in the browser, the browser doesn't know how to process and get the value and set it here. So for this EJS file, we have to turn into an HTML eventually for browser to execute. Okay. And uh, here have a step here, which is using template engine. Okay. Template engine will help you to replace uh, the placeholder like this. And it can also like uh, execute some functions might be. Okay. And eventually he will generate an HTML for you. And everything is done on the server side. Okay, server side means not in the browser. It's in the Node.js server, which is our Express application. Okay, so this is a template engine. Okay, just change some temp HTML -ish template, like uh, the example I give to you convert it into HTML so the browser will know how to render the correct name okay so for different user we just uh, before rendering we set a different value so there's no need to create a uh, HTML for each user okay hope you understand the theory part about the template engine okay and uh, if you still have a question you can leave a comment okay uh, thank you and uh, see you in next video we are gonna get some hands-on experience okay bye bye